Welcome. So what I have here is 5x squared y cubed divided by x to the seventh divided by 30 xy to the fourth divided by y squared. And that just sounds crazy as I just keep on spitting it out, doesn't it? All right, so whenever we're dividing, before we even get into the dividing part, we always want to look into, again, how can we simplify our expression before we apply our operation. So we always want to look into simplifying. And over here, we see that um, I have the same base, x squared and x to the seventh, in this same expression. So I'm going to want to simplify this expression. And I'm also going to want to simplify this expression with my two bases of y before I even get to dividing. So really, just kind of quick, let's go back a little bit of review here on how to simplify this. So I can't do anything with my um, number 5. However, remember when we're dividing with the same base, we subtract the exponents. All right, now 2 minus 7 is going to be negative 5. So it's going to be 5x to the negative fifth y cubed. Now remember, when you have a negative in the numerator, we can put it in the denominator for it to be positive. All right, So that's going to be our new problem, 5y cubed divided by x to the fifth. And I'll work out this problem um, divided by. All right, Now I'll work, out, uh, I'll work out this one again, just simplify it over here. So it'd be 30xy to the fourth minus 2. 30xy squared. So therefore, we're going to have a positive 2 in the numerator. So we'll have 30xy squared. Now, how do you divide um, a number when you, do, when you have a ra one rational expression and then the other one's not write it, write it as um, in rational or in fractional form? So we'll put it over 1. Now, what I talked about when looking at dividing. Uh, a easier way to kind of sometimes think about it, and I showed you know why it works, is rather than thinking about it in the division format, is just to multiply it by its reciprocal. So if I take 30xy squared over 1, the reason why I put over 1, because if I want to reciprocate that, I know it's just going to be flipped over. So it's going to be 1 over 30xy squared. So therefore, I rewrite this term. And you only reciprocate your divisor. And I'm going to change it to a multiplication of 1 over 30xy squared. Okay. Now I can multiply these all across. So therefore, I have 5y cubed divided by x to the fifth times 30. Now eh, let's write the 30 in front. 30x to the fifth times x times y squared. All right. Now, notice I don't have any x's in my numerator. So I can just multiply these two x's. And remember, this can be rewritten as an x to the first power. And remember, when multiplying, um, when you have the same base with exponents, you're going to add the exponents. And then here, since I'm dividing, I'm going to subtract. So 3 minus 2 is going to be y to the first power. And since that's positive, it's going to remain in the numerator. So my final answer is going to be 5y divided by. 30x to the sixth power. However, I have not simplified 5 over 30. Now, 30 does not divide into 5. However, what we can do is reduce this down. Just like you guys, uh, I get a lot of you know, students will think, all right, 4 times 2, we know that gives us to 2, right? However, if I write 2 over 4, that does not equal 2. 4 does not divide into 2. However, we can reduce that to 1 half. So I want to see, all right, 5 over 30, how can I reduce that? Because 30 does not divide into 5. Well, I can reduce that into 1 sixth. However, I don't need to write the 1 up there. So my final answer is going to be y over 6x to the 6. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you divide rational expressions. Thanks.